What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. So we're going to go through this as quickly as we can. I'm going to use two different shadow PC rigs to show you two different ways, depending on your situation, of how you can get your Game Pass games installed onto shadow. Now what the issue winds up being, and I've already fixed this drive and I'll show you what's going on, is shadow by default formats to 16 kilobytes right there okay and you need to be at 4096 bytes is really where you want to be at to not have issues with installing those game pass games that are giving you the errors now this is just one scenario here on this particular shadow uh pc i have two drives i've got the additional storage and the regular storage this is by far the easiest way and the most permanent way to have a place to put your game pass games i know storage is uh very limited right now i know it's very hard to sign up for it comes and goes very quickly but that will not be the case forever um the storage on these builds are it's very low anyway so if you're able to get your hands on additional storage and get yourself um, another D drive uh, going with shadow that's going to solve most of your problems and you'll be able to simply right click on that additional drive click format change it from the 16 to the 4096 and just do a quick format make sure you're in the NTFS default full capacity of the drive you'll click start and you'll be ready to go and that will format that entire disk very quickly 4096 bytes and you'll be ready to go so let me just show you an example so say we want to do halo and this is the game that had really gotten gotten me looking into this um, about a month ago i've been meaning to get this video out for so long um, and when flight simulator did the same thing to me i decided that i would get in here and do that so let's change this over to my c drive because this is where we should get our error trying to do our ins install now the thing is it doesn't always happen right away sometimes it does sometimes it will start to download and then stop later on but it's almost always guaranteed to error out it's just it's not going to work with halo it's not going to work with flight simulator there's a lot of games that it's not going to work with so you can see here it keeps saying download q download q download q and then it went back to install so we didn't even really get the error that time it just wouldn't work so i'm going to do it again just to show you it's going to go through that same problem now sometimes it will pop up the error code and sometimes it'll just instantly kick right back into install and i'll show you here let's bring up the store downloads and updates and you can see it in here error see details there you go very common when you're trying to install these so we want to cancel this stuff out so cancel and there you go so we're not going to be trying to install it there now i've already fixed just like i showed you we've already reformatted our d drive to the 4096 so we should be able to click install choose our d drive that's been reformatted and we should be able to start downloading and installing the game now you see how it didn't have to keep trying to requeue and it right went right into downloading let me bring the store back up for you right here and you can see we're downloading uh, halo right now and that's really it's it, when you have additional storage this is absolutely the easiest way to be able to solve this to solve this problem um, you don't have to worry about creating a virtual hard disk or anything like that on your main drive plus if you're on shadow boost your main drive is so limited on space that um, you know it, when you create a virtual hard drive it does steal all the space that you that you allocate but we're gonna go do that I'm gonna take you over to a shadow boost PC rig that only has the one hard drive that has the C drive uh, 256 gigabyte and I'll show you how to create a virtual hard disk there to create the same thing um, so that you can download your game pass games but it's just a little bit more cumbersome a little bit more work and unless you get the script working right you will have to remount that virtual hard drive every time but let's go over to that other pc uh, shadow pc rig and take a look at that 
All right, guys, so here we are over on my other Shadow PC rig. You can see I don't have the additional storage here. I've only got the local disk, which is very low on, short on storage to begin with. If you want to install Flight Simulator or Call of Duty Modern Warfare, those will probably be the only games you install on this drive. But I'll show you here, just like before, uh, whether it's Flight Simulator or Halo. Since we used Halo in the first one, I'm just going to do the same thing here for you. If I click on this to install, now it's not giving me an option for what drive, obviously, because I've only got one drive right now. And you can see it kicked right back, right back into install again. So let me open up the store for you. Same thing. We'll go in here and you'll see that it's errored out. So we're going to cancel that. All right. So no more downloads on Halo. Now, we'll just minimize that. So what you're going to want to do so that you can create another disk, you're going to create a virtual disk off of your C drive. So you're going to want to go down here to your search bar and start typing in disk management and you'll see defrag and optimize or create and format hard disk partitions right here. So once you're into your disk management, what you're going to want to be able to do is create a virtual hard disk from your C drive. So we've got our C drive selected here. We don't want to try to do anything with our recovery partitions or our EFI. This is all part of the boot, uh, the motherboard security and all that kind of stuff. So our C drive, you're going to go to action and create VHD. So that's going to be your create virtual hard drive. So we're going to pick a location for this. And for right now, what I'm going to do is just I'm going to put it in um, the C drive and I'm going to call it game pass just for ease. We'll do that. You can put it in whatever folder you would like. You can name it what you would like. Just make sure you can get to it easily and that you're not going to forget because you're going to need to remount this each time that you boot up your shadow so that you can boot up your game pass games. So we're going to click save and you can see I'm putting it on C game pass dot VHD virtual hard disk size so you can either use the size of the game you're going to install which i i would recommend adding five to ten gigabytes at least to that you're, you might have updates and need additional space uh, and things like that now halo will run 80 to 90 gigabytes flight simulator is about a hundred and Oh, 100 to 150 from what I've seen on a lot of, a lot of systems. I've only installed it on one system so far. But to, for ease of use right here, let's just say I want to be able to install more of my Game Pass games. So I would say 180, and now let's change this to gigabytes. So that would give me room to either install um, Flight Simulator or master chief collection it wouldn't be enough room for both you wouldn't be able to do that anyway but just for ease we'll do this you can set this up however you would like so we're going to leave this to fixed size leave it to vhd 180 gigs that's going to allow me to to do either master chief collection or flight simulator or any of the other smaller games on game pass that i might be having trouble with so click ok now what's going to happen is you'll see down here creating virtual disk this takes quite some time. So I'm going to fast forward us through this and get to uh, where the virtual disk has been created. And I'm going to show you how to initialize it and attach it. And then you'll be able to install your games to that virtual hard disk. And then I'll show you what happens when you reboot your shadow, how to quickly remount that. Now there is a script that you can get into. You can start uh, in task scheduler. scheduler. You can schedule a task to automatically mount the virtual hard disk when you boot. I have not personally been able to get this to work. I've tried many different methods. Um, I don't know if it has to do with Shadow being the administrator on Windows or with my password setup or what it is, but I've tried two or three different methods. I've not successfully gotten Shadow to auto mount the virtual hard drive yet. I'm going to keep working on it. If I do win that, I'll make another video showing you how to do it. But for right now, this will get you going and, and it's very quick and easy to just remount the drive uh, when you boot your shadow and then you're off and running to play your Game Pass games. So let me go ahead and finish fast before things past this and we'll take a look at how to finish up the process. All right, so you can see now we're all finished up. We've got our 180 gigabyte additional drive right here. You can see that most of our space is gone off of our local because we have created that drive. Uh, but now you can see that we have this unallocated space. So uh, what we need to do is initialize the drive. So um, not on the drive, but right over here next to it where it says disk one, give a right click and click initialize disk. 
you right here MBR so master boot record we don't want to be on GPT so click that MBR click OK now you have an initialized disk now the next thing you want to do is come over here to the drive right click again over here and click new simple volume it's going to bring up the wizard for you click next <clears throat> you can leave this alone this is just allocating all the space on your virtual hard disk it's going to automatically assign a letter so the next one for us would be d you don't have to worry about doing anything with that we can click next again now it's going to say file system ntfs if it doesn't for some reason change it to that but it should automatically have that now allocation unit size default that's where we're talking about the 4096 so that's what we changed on our additional storage on my other shadow pc build so that's what we want to create on the vhd here so click the 4096 now you can label this uh, game pass games or whatever you want i'm leaving it as new new volume just for right now but at any time you can go in and change the name of your vhd it's very easy to do so perform quick format and then we're going to click next now it'll just show you a little rundown of, of everything you just chose make sure that everything looks right click finish and it's going to format and now it's finished now you saw over here it showed up our new volume right so 179 gigs free of 179 now it's not going to say exactly 180 it takes a little bit of space to make things things happen now something i want to mention now normally you would probably want to make this 150 or so it depends on the game and if you're just installing halo go ahead and make it like 90 or 100 typical rule of thumb here your your operating system needs space you don't want to choke it out so 50 gigabytes would be the minimum i would want to typically leave on this drive now if i have enough space i like to leave 100 gigabytes minimum on my operating system drive but 50 would be the recommended minimum so if you can try to at least keep that while doing your new volume that that's a good goal but for the purpose of showing you what's happening here that's that's just fine so now we've got our new drive now sometimes there is a bug where for whatever reason this new drive will not allow you to download the game so what i would do um, is just straight up automatically detach it okay it's not going to be a big deal if we detach the drive you'll see it disappear and then all you have to do is come back um, up and do attach vhd and then you're going to go to the location where you just made it so here's my game pass that we made on the c drive if you remember so i'm just going to double click that brings it right into here click ok and now we're reattached and now we're here it's just a quick step it you don't always necessarily have to do that when you first do this sometimes the games will work but just so you don't have to worry about it do a quick detach reattach it just like i did there and now you shouldn't have to worry about it now that part is done close that we can go ahead and close this if we want now if you want to make any folders inside here to install games or whatever you can i'm going to leave it just like that so let's go back to halo master chief now if you're not aware you can always click on your avatar icon go to settings general and you can say ask me for drive selection every time and you can also tell it where you want to default your install now that you have that additional virtual hard disk as well so just to show you that now click on halo click install our d drive ready to go and it should be able to just start installing just like it did over on my other shadow pc that had the additional storage that we reformatted to that 4096 bytes Let's go ahead and bring up the Windows Store here for you also, like I've been doing, just so we can see if it is in fact downloading without the errors. And there you go. Halo is downloading just fine. So as long as you are formatted to that 4096, you are good to go. You'll be able to install any of your Game Pass games. You shouldn't run into any problems. Now, remember... I said when you restart your shadow PC, you're going to have to mount this drive each time. It's definitely not as much of a pain in the butt as it sounds. So what we're going to do is I'm going to cancel out this install. And we're going to go and I'm going to restart. I'm going to restart this shadow so that I can show you what happens when we boot back up and how to remount that drive. And then I think we'll pretty much be there. So just hang with me for one more minute and we'll get restarted here.
All right, here we are rebooted on the shadow. Let me show you. Once you reboot, your VHD is going to be gone. So there's our recent file, which actually you could just click that. But we'll come right here and our VHD is gone. But of course, our space is still missing. So all you have to do is go to where you made your VHD. So for me, it's very easy. It's right here. And you can either right click it and click mount, or you can just simply double click it and it'll bring it back. So you go here and there it is, new volume. Now, just to show you, let's go ahead and bring up Game Pass again. We'll click on F Flight Simulator this time because that's another one that, that had big issues with this. We'll just, uh, I'll just show you that it is insta indeed still working. We restarted the shadow. We just double clicked on our drive to bring that back up. We'll click on Flight Simulator here and we'll click install our D drive and we shouldn't have any issue at all. So um, I think this showed you pretty much what you need to know, guys. If you've got additional storage with Shadow, how to get your Game Pass games installed. If you do not have additional storage, um, you can definitely make this virtual hard drive on your main storage area and be able to go from there. And uh, you shouldn't have any problems. All your Game Pass games should work just fine. So go uh, enjoy installing your Game Pass games. Enjoy playing them. And if you have any questions or any problems, definitely feel free to hit me up in the comments down below and I'll do my best to help you out or answer any questions or problems that you might be running into if you haven't already subscribe to the channel give this video a thumbs up and ring that notification bell so you know when i drop new videos all that stuff does a lot to help the channel and i really appreciate it thanks again for coming to check this out i hope it helped you out and i'll see you in the next one